wherever you may be across this beautiful blue green globe of ours welcome i'm trying to fucking turn this off <laughs> welcome to real news live it's great to have you here i'm your host mike barrett in las vegas nevada joined as i always am by the lovely lady with the lustrous hair from hayden idaho jennifer fala Doreen, jen jen it's a competition who had the worst weekend you or me tell everybody what was going on with you this weekend it really sucked oh i mean what's it she, I just had a flu. I mean, like violently ill. I had the flu on Saturday and um, Saturday night. And then yesterday I was just like, you know, sleep, not sleeping, but hanging out, just trying to get better. I took the Ivan. Feel fine. Yeah, I <laughs> so. There you go. Well, I, of course, had a tooth pulled on Friday and that was no fun. I had a tooth pulled and I had two crowns done and so sore and throbbing and, 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 and then triazolam, it makes me, um, it gives me insomnia the next night. Like I get home from the doctor on Friday for the dentist. I go to sleep for almost four hours, probably four hours, just crashed. Right. And I, I'm so out of it. I, Jen, I was so, I took a picture of myself like shirtless and put it on Instagram and then I wake up and I'm like, when did I do that? You know, it's that kind of thing. Right. And anyway, I slept for four hours. I get up, I try to go to bed at about midnight or one in the morning, no dice. So I just got up at two in the morning and started playing video games. However, I did manage to sack Carthage and 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 exterminate those fucking Carthaginians. And I heard the lamentations of their women. So I got a lot accomplished, but I stayed up for 27 straight hours after that. I just couldn't sleep. And I finally slept a little bit on um, Saturday night and then, um, and I had a fairly normal night last night, but yesterday, I, you know, I was in a lot of pain, throbbing. Took I've been taking Vicodin, and I took one yesterday morning, and I thought I was having a stroke. I mean, the right side of my face was was tingling. Um, I was like, the whole world felt like it was doing this. Like, I felt awful. I was Dave had been, Dave had been out on Saturday for a sleep apnea test, so he had just gotten back from the hospital at five thirty in the morning. And I was about that close to going, Dave, take me to the hospital. But then I thought, well, I took a Vicodin a half an hour ago. Maybe it's the Vicodin. So anyway, now I'm off that stuff. Feel shitty. Had a shitty weekend. Was it generic Vicodin? It's, well, it's, I don't know. It's, yeah, hydrocodone. Years ago, I took some generic Vicodin for this, you know, thing I had. And just terrible stuff. I mean, I had nightmares. I mean, yeah. it made me feel terrible i was just like uh i'm not taking that again anyway um the difference is like tylenol with codeine is real codeine and codeine is not a synthetic drug whereas vicodin is a synthetic drug so i'm gonna have my canadian friend ship me about a thousand tylenol with codeines and if i ever need opiates again i'm gonna take the codeine not the fucking vicodin because it just sucks jen Okay, but just be careful. I think you can get addicted to the Tylenol's coating. They gave that to me after I had faith. And I was just like, this stuff's great. <laughs> I never slept so good in my yeah, life. No, I only take it. I was like, take no, it for, I'm not going to. I only take it for certain, certain things. And then, you know, I, I couldn't wait to, after being awake for 27 hours, I couldn't wait to take clonazepam and go to bed, go to sleep. And then I remembered, fuck, you can't take Vicodin and clonazepam together because it will shut down the vagus nerve that tells your heart to beat and your lungs to breathe. So then I'm like, please let me sleep. Please let me sleep. I finally did a little bit. But it just, anyway, just, yeah, we both had sucky stuck. weekends. It sucked. And, um, and and we're here. And, you know, I'm still dizzy. I don't know what cause is causing the dizziness. And now I got to quit Dr. Pepper, though, because it's the Dr. Pepper that's given me the tooth decay, which is what got my recent tooth pulled. So, all right, enough personal stuff. Jen, before we get to the Gen, is there anything about Kate in the Gentel today? Let's ask that before we go to the Gentel or talk about.
I didn't get anything about her. No, I was focused okay. on Harvey. And before, stuff. So do you want to do Kate before or after the Gentile? I'd like to do it before. But that's just me. Go ahead. All right. So as you know, uh, it was announced over the last, since the last time we did our show on Wednesday, we talked about Kate Middleton a little bit then, who is the Princess of Wales. And her husband, William, uh, is the crown prince of England. And England, Scotland, Ireland, Canada, you know, the whole ball, you know. Um, and she had not been seen since Christmas. And the rumors were that she was dead. And even her father said, I haven't seen her or heard from her in three months. And if I don't see or hear from her soon, I'm going to assume she's dead. And... This caused a big, great big controversy. And then they tried to put out this picture last week or this film. Somebody spotted supposedly Kate and William at a farmer's market. And it wasn't her. And everybody said, that ain't her. Now I had some friends on Facebook that said, oh no, it's been, it's AI, it's been digitally altered. Here's the real picture. But it turns out, the real video, but it turns out uh, it's flip-flop. They actually did an AI to make this girl that William or somebody was with look more like Kate. and. I, I, I'm positive that that woman was not Kate. And then, so that didn't bot, that didn't sell. We had Adam Greaves on, on Wednesday. Adam came, Adam went down, he went down to the farmer's market. He was there. He called in, if you remember, great show. Called in and said, there's no way that only one person noticed them here. There are hundreds of people all around here. And there would have been dozens of videos of this couple if anybody thought it was really weird. And so he said he's calling bollocks on that. So then that didn't fix it. Piers Morgan even retweeted the video of the girl that doesn't look like Kate, trying to pretend like it was Kate. Now, Piers has got his head so far up the royal's ass, you know, it's like, seriously, he's got he's got a golden crown on his head from their, their inside their butts. So then they put out a video of Kate Middleton. Um, which we can find and we can play if you'd like to see it, Jen. But they put out a video yeah. of Kate where she announced, uh, okay, now, geez, you put me on the spot. You said, sure, so now I have to find it. Uh, I'm going to first show you a still um, from the video, and then we're going to go look at the video. Uh, here is a still shot. Let's get it shared. Oh my God, Mike Barrett chat. Why, why do you guys, why do you fuckers, I love you and Mike Barrett chat, but why do you guys start chatting right when my show starts every single time? Like there's a hundred posts. Stop it. Watch the show. All right. Here's Kate. And if you notice this picture, Kate, she looks gaunt. She looks tired. She says, I have cancer. They did an abdominal surgery. Probably a hysterectomy, but we don't know. And they found cancer. There are a number of issues with this video. Number one, this shirt is a shirt that she wore in a 2016 video. Um, royals do not wear the same outfit twice in general. Uh -huh. that. They don't. Um, number two, there's no evidence of a microphone anywhere near her. And she is 20 or 30 feet away probably from the camera. Um, Certainly far enough away that you would need a lavalier mic at least. Now, it's possible they hid the mic behind her hair extensions or whatever. But, Jen, um, I don't think so. I've worn lots of those mics. And they leave a little bump. You can see something. Um, so the, people are questioning the audio. The other thing I want you to notice before we get to the video um, is the bench she's sitting on. Notice the vertical slats on the bench. They're thick on one side and thin on the other side. It looks like two different benches. It looks like this is this is the kind of mistake that AI would make in generating. They make her made her look thinner. Although she's always very thin. Yeah, I have something thin. to add to about this picture as well, but um, in comparison from the original video so, she made. So a lot of people are saying and questioning and saying. This, this is fake. This is somehow generate, And we know that AI is good enough now that it can generate this stuff. The slats really got me because that is not a forced perspective thing. That is two different benches she's sitting on. And that makes it look phony. Now let's go try to find the video. Um, and uh, there's something I want you to notice in the video um, of Kate. I don't know. What the, oh, that's my media. Okay. Let's go with Kate. 
go to the video and and Jen um this is really strange stuff let's okay this is the video um I want you to pay attention to the background behind Kate in this video I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time it has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. Okay, several things. When I first saw that video come out, I didn't watch the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, didn't really watch yeah. it at all. Um, so what I saw there, the first, psychically, the first thing I got when I saw that, old footage immediately okay which explains the shirt. sitting on the bench um the lighting's not right to be outside in the sun the lighting on her face isn't right to be outside in the sun yep um the stripes on her sweater are bleeding over into onto the bench yep and she has a hairstyle much like mine and when you mm -hmm. curl it and flip it back like that it's never the same and if you can find the still picture of the original uh of her wearing that sweater it's the same as her as hair was, in the video as it was on the day that she wore the sweater for the first time in 2016 right it's now she's in the uk doing this there is rarely no wind um there's no wind movement not a hair nothing. out of place nothing moves there's no movement behind her nope nope it's a projection this was filmed and made a long time ago in a studio. Um, I don't think she's with us. And there you have it. I agree. I agree. And in an attempt to quell everything, this video, I think, has just made it worse. I'm not going to dig in. I could look in and probably find out, but I'm not going to do that uh, because I don't want to be here putting out like royal family information. Right, right. <laughs> you and know, I'll put myself in danger, but I just think that, you know. Mm -mm. It might be dangerous. So, and the angels probably wouldn't give it to you because of that. So, so yeah, they, they would protect me from seeing something I shouldn't so, see. But. Um, let's talk about it from a geopolitical standpoint. Um, I didn't think is, that bench was terribly, I'm sorry, I, I didn't think the bench was terribly shiny, reflective. Uh, in fact, it's a dull, flat finish. And yeah, it's not and um, 
that's like an artifact. It's it's almost like they're leaving all these clues in the in the video so people can see that it's not real. Well, it's almost like they tried to put the shadows in on the bench and pulled the sweater kind of and the stripes of the sweater reflected on that bench. Now, I can see if it was a very shiny dark colored like black shiny bench. It could reflect some, but the the um you know, ask an artist to take a look at that. The lighting's not right. The shadows aren't right. There's absolutely no movement in the background. There's no movement of her hair. Um, and for me, as a woman, to have your hair turn out exactly the same, if you were to, if you go look at the old picture that we other picture people have of her um, with that sweater on the the way the hair curves and everything that's never exactly the same when you flip it back and curl it back um all they did is extend the length of the hair in that video mm -hmm. yeah this is a this is another weird one you have to be a woman to have a hysterectomy um there have been rumors that kate actually is a sexual she's not she was not born female and i have seen pictures of her when she was a model she has a body like a man she has a body like a skinny boy uh is that true i don't think that's true you don't think that's true you think she's a woman she was Mm -hmm. I think because of bloodlines, they want they want the princess to actually give birth to the children. They want, right. um, I mean that is checked. Um, they want their children to be like real bloodline children. They wouldn't do that in a petri dish, you know. Um. There's something about that. So yeah, I don't think she's a man. Do you think? Do you think that they could that it could be a wig that her hair could have just been a wig, um, you know, a high quality Hollywood type wig? Um, she's. Can know. somebody find that picture? Because if you compare a still of the video, the hair in the video, some I think you put it up somewhere. Did you yeah. put it up on Telegram? I, I saw it somewhere. Right. Somebody want to share that on Telegram uh, chat group or something for me, if you can find it. Jeff's usually good at that. And then um, there was a comparison. Hang there on. was the old pic with the with the sweater on and the hair, and then there was a still from the the video. Well, I have this, Jen. I have this, which is sorry, uh, my nose keeps running. Still getting better. That's okay. Uh, did you share i don't know uh, side by side is it this one chat. side jen is it this one side by side of a few years ago and currently or no, no that's not no it. it's they're both are in the same sweater oh, okay oh yeah 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 hang on stop sharing that and i will look for it on television It's like making homemade soup. It never turns out exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. When you when you put do a hair hairstyle like that, mine is never exactly the same. The way it flits back, the way it lays. Right on the one side, she's got this really serious bump going on, and the other side, she's got a couple places where it feathers back. And I noticed that's the first one of the first things I noticed that it, in those two pictures, a still of the video and the old picture with the striped sweater, that they were the same day pretty much so it looks you're saying it looks like the 2016 footage and the 2024 footage is actually filmed from on the same day well the hair because the hair the hair came out exactly the same i you know i don't know how they made that look so real but computers. um yeah. ai computers can do it these days i'm looking her sitting there on a bench, but it, it clearly. Still looking. I know it's back in there somewhere. 
Well, I just saw a green screen. Um, a lot of advertisements from Jennifer Feline here. If I do what I got to do, man. Yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> I got plenty of work to do, but that's from purchases like last couple months. Um, okay, getting closer back to the Kate because there was a sequence there where there was a whole bunch of Kate stuff mm -hmm. uh, a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, no, I know it's is that it? No, Did people are it? let me let me go back. Let me sorry, no dead air, no dead air. Let me live oh. TV. I did post something, but it's not the comparison. I did see a photo. Oh, let me look in the comments. Hang on. No, I saw it. It's out there, you guys. Here it is. Here it is. Got it. It's small, but I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. All right. Go back. Close that. Do a share. Got to share the window. All right. Okay, then I got to go back and once again. So stupid. Why did they All right, click on it, see if we can get it right, bigger. Yeah, I'm going to as soon as I, I get there. This is the biggest we can get, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can barely see, but yeah. You can see, yes, everything is exactly the same. The hair is exactly the same. All they I did can... is they took it on, on and made it longer. They pushed it out with the AI, uh, put a little more swirl in it. But, but around the face, it's, that it's never happens. It moves when you move. It falls. I mean, you can put as much hairspray on it as you want. But in, when you're doing a hairstyle like that, it's never going to be exactly the same. Right. Let me see if you guys don't mind. You guys do not mind bearing with us before we get to the Gentile. Um, I can, I can get this closer. I can edit this. Okay. Let's do a little editing. Let's crop it and enlarge it. Okay. Save it. And I know about, you know, videos on the internet and stuff, but it just seemed like the words in the mouth movements didn't match up exactly either so there's just so many things and then you've got the shadow they tried to put on the bench that bled the lines of the sweater over and i'm hoping it's not just my vision um but the background is too stationary the longer you look at it the more you find Okay, can you see it now, Jen, in the show? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so again, again. You see, see that, that flip on the left yep. side next to yep. her ear? Yep. And then this. The, these are these, and, the and, and the weather. And the part. Now, yes, people's hair tend to part in the exact, but the exact same spot for that part the little bit of a bump right on top next to the part take a look at that hair um all they did is extend the length on the if we're looking at the photo on the right side which would be her mm -hmm. left side of her face they pulled that down see how it it, it goes in towards yeah. the neck after the bump on the right side that goes in they just pulled that out and extended the hair yep it came down the same way. They filled it in. They pulled it down. So you, so that's the same day. And this was this was in 2016 on the left. And this is 2024. They thinned her out. They aged they her. They thinned her out. Bit. They made the sweater look bigger. They put a couple wrinkles in the lines of the sweater so that she looked. Um, yep. Holy gescheist. The shadowing's all wrong. 
I don't know how they made her look like she was sitting there mo moving her hands and everything. Well, that's they can you can do that with AI. You can do that with artificial intelligence computers now. But I noticed the hair. Yeah. Well, that's why we have the that's why we have the feminine influence on the show. That's why women say you got good hair day and bad hair day, and sometimes you it just don't work out. But you never get those kind of flips exactly mm -hmm. the same, and the mm -hmm. part exactly the okay. same, especially with the hairstyle like that. It moves. It falls down. Um, this is uh, definitely something to uh, discuss in the future. Anyway, I don't think she's with us anymore. Um, okay, between that and the Russian terrorist attack and the escalating World War III in Russia, we had a pretty wild day, and we haven't even got to the Gentel yet. So I'm going to turn it over to you, and I'm going to give you your, uh, your Gentel um, banner, and we're going to let you go with what you got this morning. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, not a lot, but I got the good stuff. Um, we're going to continue to see the final preparations for the leading up to the announcement of Nasara Jasara in a, oh, I don't know when that'll be announced, but... Um, So I went into meditation today, interdimensional inter meditation for Jennifer Falaw Doring, uh, sixth level of heaven, Archangel Michael and Gabriel. I met them in the courtyard out of side of the house, big stone courtyard. Um, and I spoke with Gabriel. Um, he said the RV is underway. They have not told the public, but they haven't told the public yet. So things are happening right now. We're doing it. Um, there are final preparations happening in Vietnam for their Jasara. Um, and also um, news of those final preparations and steps to be in compliance will be seen on the screens this week. And I don't think that's just for Vietnam. I'm talking about worldwide. We'll see political and financial rulings and extensions in the news. Is what he said. Sounds like Trump. RV yeah. exchange redemption window as of now is 4 1 through 4 12, if no further delays. Okay. I don't know exactly when we get notification. If it is 4 1, uh, things are happening this week with um, people who already have their monies and their RV, their redemption underway. People have went in a long time ago and gave them their stuff, okay? So you'll, we will hear word, but not much about that. Might be very guarded or cryptic, um, coded, but um, that part of it is happening as we speak. There are people moving around, doing things in what I, looks like a big room to me. Um, so things moving right now. It's happening right now. Um, and I asked, I didn't write all this down, but I asked, you know, are we going to make sure, you're going to make sure we don't miss it, right? <laughs> like my concern is that in between um, the other countries posting their rates or changing their rates and us going to gold is our rv window because uh, you know we have to have a cert we have to have the fiat currency we can't have if we have currency that's a that went to gold and is more valuable than the rest of the world then we have no rv correct so um so we've got what's called an rv window to exchange, and I believe that's 4 1 through 4 12 as of now, if no further delays. And I said, okay, so when do we go to gold? When does the USA go to gold? He said, and they do this, and I love this because instead of giving me a date that I could generate in my mind and put in his mouth, he said, May Day. And I'm like, it's not like an old term. I mean, what the hell's May? So I had to look it up. May 1st is May Day. Um, that's what I've always gotten. It matches up with what I've always gotten about going to gold in May. So right now, this is the schedule. 
Okay. Um, about 900 of you guys in the stream right now on both Rumble and the YouTube channels and various, I suppose somebody's on Twitch. Thank you very much for being here, Jen. Um, Twitch. I think, what's that? Oh, I just always forget we even have a Twitch. I should go on there, do something. Yeah. Um, yeah. How about doing psychic readings in a hot tub in a bikini on top of a giant pickle? Yeah. No one wants to see that. Okay. <laughs> Mom is past the bikini days. <laughs> no, all right. No I don't know if I ever will. Well, the bikini days. I am our aunt made her living, you know, so she made her living. So. Um, yeah, 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 a couple of interesting things yes. in that. Um, of course, there's disappointment at the time frame and it's not here now, but you know, how is that disappointment? Well, because we had all like, what the hell are you guys gonna do for the rest of the week? It was March. You're gonna you're gonna deal with Easter, we're gonna get news that's good news this week, we're gonna see all these preparations taking place, you're gonna see it. Yeah, that's exciting. Well, one thing too, then was we're all gonna do our Easter and have our ham and everything else. And then we're on to like in, in, to the RV window, which is the first. You really want notifications to screw up your holidays? So don't come That's at me so with this disappointment crap. That's All so right, we're right there. No, I, I really would like to just go buy another house today, but that's fine. I have one, so I should be happy with that. Um, yeah, and uh, it's interesting because you said you're going to hear about certain people that are already in the process getting stuff going. That's the Bond people. Wolvie talked about that, and Mark's been talking about that that he's hearing they're hearing now that reno's activated and all these whales who are mostly the bond holders are being called back in to get their payments that's that's the news from last night so that fits with that information all right and, and what did i teach on. people on thursday and pass when these people are talking to you tune in you want to take a look at the eyes okay what do you feel what are they telling you they're telling you they know a lot more than they're telling you. Yeah. Well, when Mark they're telling when you Mark that things this, are happening and I can't tell you. When Mark does this, he's telling you the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you know that's where you know when Mark's giving you as close as he can to the real stuff. And I know. And and Mark, by the way, has a surprise in his back pocket that he has never talked about. He has two surprises in his back pocket, which um and based on their schedule, your schedule actually fits that. Based on his schedule, your schedule fits his schedule without you knowing what his schedule is, I don't think. So. Well, I did tune in this morning for a couple minutes, but I didn't have time to watch. I had to get ready and do the Gentel and all that. Yep. Um, But I didn't watch the whole thing for timing. I just went in and got my own. Okay. Something going on with Vietnam. Kind of think it's political. Okay. We might see. And then remember the last gen tell is that we're going to start seeing the more resignations, more people coming out of the spots they are in um, that are getting in the way or could get in the way or could do something to stop it. So, um, yeah. Jen, we're going to talk about this on the Tuesday show, the Toxically Masculine show with Break up with Brooks and Blake. Um, but how serious is this military escalation in Russia and, and Ukraine? Is, could we be getting to that? I mean, it seems to me obvious that Biden and our intelligence community were behind the terrorist attack in Russia. I don't think there's any question about that. The question is, will it escalate to that near World War Three level? Oh, Joe Evans says the president of Vietnam resigned last week. I knew that. I saw that. But I wasn't thinking about that when I was talking about the RV. But there yeah. was some reference to Vietnam and happenings over there. Um, I said, why? I didn't write it down, but I said, why is Iraq? Why aren't, hasn't Iraq gone? Um, and that, that something about the military conflict. But how serious is the escalation in Russia? Are we getting to that tipping point where decisions are made? Well, there are real world things happening on the ground. There are real consequences happening on the ground. But don't be deceived. This is the final preparations to Nasara Dasara and setting the scene for removal. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like when. And you know what? 
what did I say a long time ago? Biden will be removed for trying to start a world war or when he tries to start a world war. When, when Joe Biden, through his proxies in the CIA and their proxies in the Ukraine, finance, organize, and execute a terrorist attack, killing 140 Russian civilians in a Moscow theater, that is an act of war. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there is trace, there's evidence to trace that all the way back, probably including the money. So we're I right there. That this weekend, oh six. I don't remember right everything there. I said. But right it was, um, yeah, trace the money. Basically, you know, if they. Um, yeah, because they all said they oh, got paid 250. ISIS is taking responsibility. Well, who funds ISIS? Barack Obama and John McCain formed ISIS, yeah. Trace the money and it will lead back to Biden's administration or the United yep. States. And yep. there you go. Yep. Got a nice little war attempt going on with that attack. If, um, if, if Biden was aware of this, it's not only impeachable offense, it's treasonous. It's, it's like with all the other treason, it's straight out treason to start try to start a war by doing a terrorist attack like that in another country. Mm -hmm. well, maybe I'm being a little dramatic. Oh, and this is how they Three. keep their seats in power and they, they form these militia or these, these terrorist groups and they have them run around and do their bidding. And, um, but nobody takes a look at the paper trail or the money trail and who it actually leads back to because that was all controlled in the past. Um, I'd listen, I'd listen for anything out of Putin this yeah. week. Um, should be interesting. Yeah. So there's so many things happening right now. It's hard to line it all up for you, yeah. but I'm just, the only way I can summarize it is that, that these are the final preparations for Nasara Jasara and, um, politically and financially, mostly politically in the public eye right now. Um, so kind of as a distraction to the financial. Right. But um, until they're ready. So I want to ask you about about two Q, Q drops, even though I don't really like to talk about Q drops much anymore. Um, scare event. There was one Q drop where it talked about scare event. And I assume the near World War Three scenario is the scare event. It also talked about sky event. And Anton Petrov, who's a really sweet little foreign guy who does great great videos about science and astronomy and stuff, says that any time now in the next week, there will be a nova visible in the night sky. In other words, a exploding star, not a supernova, which is, you know, sometimes you can read by it at night, but a nova in the, in the region of the North, North Star, the polar star, visible all over the world. Is that the sky event maybe that they're talking about? Like, will it happen on Easter? Will it happen soon? Are, are we getting close to that sky event? And is that what it is? I don't know, I'm really? thinking, I'm trying, I'm trying to listen. It'd be pretty dramatic. I'm asking my questions and listening. Um, That's not what they meant when they the post said sky event. It's one of those things you have to um, either gematria. No. And the um, the other one. What was it? Scare well, event. Scare event. Yeah. That is in the past. Okay. That's the strongest thing I'm picking up from that is that, that we already had that. That was in the past. Yeah. That might have been the um, a pandemic. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, over 800 of you guys in the live stream uh, today. Thank you for very much for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you. Please do not forget that when these uh, live streams are ended, they are pulled down off of YouTube almost as soon as they are done because we want to try to avoid the censorship um, 
that's going on on YouTube. So go over to mikebarrett.blogspot.com where you can pick up not only links to my books and lectures I've done and videos I've done about how the Calvine UFO photo is nothing more than a picture of the peak of a, of a mountain called Farragon Hill in Scotland. Interview with Marina Saren, some of my Seahawks stuff. I've got a new Seahawks channel. Please go over, like, and subscribe uh, the videos and stuff on my Seahawks channel. It's called uh, Seahawk Boy Mike Barra on YouTube. I will provide a link in the description to that. Uh, I'm just trying to get people, you know, get a few subscribers, get a few people to follow me and do some, uh, on, in my spare time, do some videos about the Seahawks because they are a mess. So mikebear.blogspot.com for all that cool stuff, all that content. Please also do not forget to visit our wonderful sponsors, the CBD Gurus, over at the cbdgurus.com where you can pick up all kinds of wonderful CBD products for your health. Slide over to the wholesale tab, slide down to Mike B Wholesale, click on that, type in the discount code, which is A L I E. Let me find it. Discount code. CBD Guru's discount code. A-L-I-E-N. No capital, nothing else. And press enter and you get this week's specials over there at the CBD Guru's. Well, let's see what we've got. we got to check out our special below. Must be a wholesale buyer. A new product, Turkey Tail Coriolis First Color. Okay, so I know that my other sponsors, the other guys, MikeBearPets.com, have been talking to the CBD Guru's about coming up with products together. Maybe they did. Maybe this is it. This is the Nutrition Excellence Turkey Tail, Healthy Immune System, Natural, Non-GMO, Vegan stuff for all you vegans out there. Wonderful new product. Okay, great. Starting March 22nd, 945. That would be now. Also, you get 5 million free Boulevard with orders over $150. And the code LION10 is active for a 10% discount. And wow, I'm going to start advertising that over on... um. Over on Instagram, and some other stuff. Uh, you got the immunity um, gummies and capsules. You've got all the cool stuff, the chocolates, the pet treats, all kinds of very cool health products over at the CBDGurus.com. The wholesale might be wholesale. Discount code is, or discount code is, <laughs> what is it, Jen? Uh, Lion10 and the, um, the login code for the wholesale is alien, A-L-I-E-N. Also, please visit the other wonderful people that we're working with, MikeBarrapets.com over at MikeBarrapets.com, where you can pick up all kinds of mushroom-based, all-natural, healthy, holistic pet treats and supplements for your doggies, your kitties, and your horsies. They're wonderful stuff. They're based on the Coriolis Versicolor and Rishi Mushrooms. There's wonderful science behind them, amazing stuff. They have natural whole foods. They have some deer antler powder um, that they use. There's a whole great series of products over here on MikeBarrettPets.com. If you hit the Shop Now button and slide on in there. I've been giving Barkley the Mush Puppies and the Mojos. These are liver-based treats with the mushrooms in them. It's fantastic stuff. His energy is off the scale. I, you know, Everybody's always asking him when he meets new dogs and stuff, on his walks, you know, is he a puppy? I'm like, no, he's not a puppy. He's 10 years old. He's going to be 11 next uh, next May. So, you know, we've got the super sauce. I know that Kimberly Rack and a few other people have been giving that for their kitties. They've got mush ponies for the horses, and they've got products for the humans. The uh, Coriolis Versicolor for immune system boost, the uh, diabetes and high blood pressure enforce restore, the clarity, the plus, all kinds of cool, cool products for humans and for your pets. Okay, Jen, why don't you tell us what's going on over at jenniferfalaw.com this week? Okay, well, we had a special $50 off, and the price is the special price um, on the one-hour reading. It's not a 48-hour sale. I've kept it up all week because people ask me to. Um, $89. You can get a one hour reading with me. I have not had time yet today to go in and change the website. So it's still there. You could get it. You could sneak on in there and get a whole bunch of them if you wanted to. Um, and I can't give you gift cards. So if you're like, hey, I'd like to have a monthly reading for the rest of the year. Can you give me all those gift cards? Yes, I can. And that's a good idea. We should all do that. All of you should do that. Um, we also had the Divine Chakra Cleanse up. Um, and 
that's been interesting. That is interesting. So that's basically, so when I do the full healing, the DNA correction, toxin, you know, full body, everything healing, the energy flow in the body can be affected by emotion and that might be a choice. So what we're, my attempt here is to go in there um, and help you get rid of any kind of crust, any kind of blockages. You know, when somebody does, I believe it's um, with the needles. What is that? Acupuncture. acupuncture. Yeah, acupuncture. <laughs> there, with the needles. What's that needle thing? Energy. I'm like the thing with the needles with it. What's that needle thing, Mike? Yeah, when they stick the needles all over you. Um, they're correcting the energy flow in the body so that your body can function better. Yeah. Now we are energetic beings. Um, we eat so that we can have more energy. We sleep to replenish energy. Um, positive being positive brings in more of God's energy into your body. So this this healing is an effort to go in and to remove any emotional blocks, any anything that was built up that is not allowing the energy flow correctly through your body and through your chakras. Anyway, go to jenniferflaw.com, all kinds of stuff there. Got my friends there doing stuff too. Um, but you're going to want to take advantage of this deal because sometime today I'm going to go in there and put it back to regular price. All right. And the Manchester City colors. We love that. The light blue Manchester City colors. So go over to jenniferfalla.com and pick that stuff up. Okay, we're going to move on to the questions. We're going to start over on Rumble. Why? Because on Rumble, you can subscribe to Real News Live for $5 a month. A mere $5 a month supports the show. Jen gets some shopping money out of it. I, I get some rent money out of it. We appreciate it very much. Jen, I knew Jen would give me a funny look with that one. So um, we... So get on over to Rumble because if you are a $5 a month subscriber, you get a little red castle next to your name and you get to ask your questions. First, let me just give you a quick preview of what's going on over at uh, Rumble right now. There's Jen and there's the little red castles and uh, we are a little bit behind in the flow. But when you subscribe down here at the button at the bottom and you can only do that subscription off of the web client, you have to be on a laptop or a desktop, won't work on your phone. Hit the subscribe button, and for $5 a month, you can contribute to the show, and you get your questions answered first. Once again, we'd like to remind everybody that the best way to get your questions uh, answered is to make sure you give Jen your real first name. She needs that to connect, and the name of the pet or person you're asking about. That also helps quite a bit. So, All right, Jen, let's slide over there to Rumble and see what's happening. A Steel Girl... Little Red Castle is now a $5 a month monthly supporter. Yay. Thank, Thank you. you. Girl. Uh, KM Swan 23 is now a $5 a month monthly supporter. We appreciate you. you very, very much. Little Red Castle. Uh, KM Swan says, good morning, Mike, Jen, and Mike. I'm glad to have finally make it to a live show. Well, we're glad you made it too. Thanks for the, the subscription. And Steel Girl says, hello, Mike and Jen, sending healing vibes your way. Yeah, we both need it. We both yes. have rough weekends. So, um. Okay, K Turtle Eight. Well, it doesn't give it didn't give us a real name. I know who that is. But uh, hi, Mike. Hi, Mike and Jen. Jen, is the recall of military retirees a white hat or a black hat op? This is an interesting question. I don't trust that's completely accurate. Okay, don't trust that the reports are accurate. Connie would like to know: uh, Do you see anything going on with her dog Jasper's back legs? There's something going on with a nerve that goes back to the back, you know, eh, middle of the back on the top. Okay. Um, get him to the doctor, vet, to look at, can they do anything about the nerves? It, it's kind of like when a human, when you're out of place. Yeah. Oh, like a chiropractor almost. I don't know, were the kids being rough with him or something? Could he gotten out of place, you know? Um something going on in the spine with a nerve that goes down the leg okay uh steel girl whose name we don't have yet um but we're going to try anyway wants to know if her son christopher will get the internship he has applied for recently will christopher get the internship he's applied for steel girl 
Okay, got her. Christopher. Got him. Yeah, but they might tell him that it's going to be delayed. So, yes and no. Okay. Right now. Okay. Uh, Catalina, $5 a month subscriber, Little Red Castle, says, Jen, will my mom sell her home or stay in it? Thank you and God bless. Catalina. Stay in it. <clears throat> cool Raul, Little Red, Ca Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber. Where is her husband? The spouse is literally present, when, usually present when they just, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Where is the, where is the husband? Uh, wolf cat seven. I don't know the name here. What well, she's going to ask about her kitten. Will my kitten Max ever calm down on his biting of us thinking he is playing? So apparently cat, I think it's going to be cat K A T. Uh, wants to know if her kitten Max will calm down on his biting. Yeah. It's a spaz. Just very excited. It's a spaz. Um, uh, it's Kathy. Okay, Kathy. Hi, Kathy was asking about Max and his biting issue. Okay. Um, okay, Scott says, a lady. Okay, that's not really a question. Boeing CEO resigned today. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, Scott would like to know if Johnson will be voted out over the budget. I think he means, um, Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House. Will he be voted out over the budget deal he made? No. He's a white hat plant. He's a white hat plant. Okay. Megan Angus, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber. Hi, Mike and Jen. Jen, do you see my cousin Skylar's treatment going well? Will, Jet, will Megan's cousin Skylar's treatment go well? Kind of medium, yes and no. <laughs> as long as he sticks with the plan, if you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Parissa, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber, would like to know, can you see why the companies that I'm working with on my products have seemed to stop responding to me? Parissa would like to know why the companies she's working with on new products are not responding. You're not going to hear much until after Easter. Okay. Um, Catalina already asked a question about her mom. Uh, Sharon, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber, says, My sister Dolores' house sold. Will the closing go well? What was the name again? Uh, Sharon wants to know about her sister Dolores' house. Yeah. Um, Steel girl said, sorry. So what I'm doing over here, just so that you know, it's almost like stepping stones. So you find the person first and then who they're connect talking about or they're who they're connected. So if you come up here and say, you know, uh, my friend, sister's mother's brother, you know, like, uh, you know, it's you step from one step into another and I'm finding them. And then I'm looking at the situation which is another stepping stone. So that's what I'm doing. Um, Steel Girl is Laura. Okay, Laura, thanks. I see, I don't, I can't keep track of all the names of all the real names. So you be sure to repeat your real first name when, you know, in future. In your in qu fu first question, because yeah, after future, the fact. In future questions. Yeah, I can't find you. It just takes longer. And, and yeah. he doesn't give me very much time. And so that's we, why. We, we have lots of people with lots of questions and lots of needs. I do push fast. Yeah. Um, David Murtos, Little Red Castle, $5 a month subscriber. Jen, many people are still saying the 2024 election won't happen and Trump will be reinstalled. What do you see happening? That's what Jen said. <laughs> so that's what she says. I think Jen's the one who came up with that first. Jen, aren't you the first person to give that scenario? It's not a typical uh, election, no. Yeah. They uh, may use that time to do a 
special election and have him put in that way. But there is, I always saw a time when there's a stand in. Uh, no, Steel Girl, no need to apologize. I have to repeat that for people all the time. So I've been here many times. So don't don't worry about it. But just I just I actually should before we get to questions, I should remind everybody if you have a question, make sure you include it. Um so don't no need to apologize. Okay, uh MJ Cardwell, good morning. Mark. Uh Mark wants to know, do you see me purchasing property in either Nevada or Arizona before the end of 20? See Mark purchasing before property. the what? Before the end of 2024. Mark. Mark wants to know if he's going to be purchasing property in either Nevada or Arizona before the end of 2024. Well, I can't make that decision before you, but there's quite a bit of foliage on the property. Um, it's overgrown, quite a bit of um, weeds, oh, bushes. Um, so bring in a goat team. There is a hill close by. Um, not a lot of trees. I want to say, let me see, can I see the color of the dirt? It is a more dirt brown color. It's not a red. There's not much red around. There's not a lot of clay in the, in the dirt. There is some kind of stream. I want to say you're in Nevada. I want to say you're up in upper Nevada. Yeah. Well, it's timeline. Yeah. Bring in goats. You know, they have these things called goat teams. Jen? Pretty close. They... There's water running. So, um, I want to say later part of the year. Um, so Mark, bring in a goat team. Goats come in and just eat all the foliage and clear your property for you. Lisa Lucy, hi there. I've heard different opinions on the eclipse energy. Some say it has healing energies and some say it has dark energies. Any opinions? Read my Lisa, read my book, The Choice, where I talked all about this. It is an opportunity during an eclipse for you to amplify your thoughts and prayers and desires. So use that time wisely. When the eclipse is taking place, even if you're not in the path of it, you are more connected to higher energies, higher selves, archangels. Jen, you should do some meditations during the eclipse. I bet you get some wild information out of that. Probably be some more great seventh level of heaven stuff. Um, and use that opportunity. It's an opportunity. So look at it that way. Uh, Jay McLennan is now a monthly supporter. Little Red Castle, $5 a month. Yay. He just came on, Jen. That's wonderful. Um, Thank you. And uh, I don't know your JK. I don't know what that stands for, but it's McLennan. Jen, what, will my niece Jessica get a second opinion in St. Louis? Two or three. Wow. You know, I just got about the eclipse energy. I never really knew, gathered much information about that at all. But you know what it feels like to me energetically is that all of a sudden everything just slows down for a minute. For a few. So whether you want, how you want to, it doesn't really feel like positive or negative either way. It just feels right. like a slowdown. It, well, it's, just, it's, as I talked about in the choice, and if you look at some of my lectures, I talk about this, it's an alignment. And these alignments amplify our connection to God, basically. That's how it works. And I'm just saying, you know, be careful of your thoughts during eclipses. Uh, that are happening in, near you because because what you're putting out there is what you're going to get. Huh, um, interesting. Jim, it might be Jim McLennan. I don't know. Uh, Jen, do you see silver going over a hundred dollars an ounce? He gets two questions, or she gets two questions because brand new subscriber. You see gold going over a hundred, or sir, sorry, silver going over a hundred dollars an ounce. Not till twenty five, really. Silver does go up. It kind of like triples i think with uh once we go to gold but then it's really in 25 when you're going to see the large increases in that yeah, because triples. of things that happen yeah because they yeah. need silver we need silver for the economy laura would like to know jen how's my dog hope how 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 is my dog hope healing from surgery and how is her health i need to know i'm doing right by her this is laura wants to know about her dog her doggy hope 
It's either he, she's healing from surgery. We have a little bit of inflammation that you want to keep an eye on. Make sure that doesn't get too um, swollen. Um, keep it very clean. As of now, I see a little bit of inflammation around the incisions. Um, but other than that, good to go. Yeah. Uh, Kate's ring disappears and reappears in the video. That's true. Was there a glitch at the beginning of the video? No, there is actually some sort of bug or something. It could be computer generated that flies in front of her, but she doesn't even seem to react to it. Uh, Donna would like to know, my employer's sale hasn't gone through yet. Donna, do you see this happening by April 1st or does this get moved to May? You still me having see me having a job with the new company. That's Donna. There is delays, yeah. I'm I'm looking at May. Um yeah, the picture was a redone deep fake from May. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up, I think, over on the rumble side. So we'll slide back over to YouTube and check out the YouTube questions. Uh, Thomas Klein would like to know Jen and Mike. I'll, they always say Jen and Mike, but really we're only asking Jen. Will I be able to stay retired and will I get a raise in Social Security soon? Did you stay retired? I'm just trying to find out what's something going on with Social Security right now because I did see supplemental checks coming a while back. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I don't know if it's necessarily a raise in what you actually get right now. That's in the, the rollout. We actually get... Um, that goes up, but I think there might be supplementals coming wow, very that soon. Nice. That would be nice. Jen, um, since I'm the co-host, I forget I get to ask you questions too. Um, I have two questions, one about me and one about my kitty. Um, I'm still really, I'm very dizzy and disoriented. Like when I, when I go to take Barkley for a walk, sometimes I feel like I'm going to pass out. Um, and Regina is pointing out that I did, I did have, I did give blood, give blood last week. Uh, a lot of it, a lot more than I thought. I, what's causing my dizziness and stuff and lightheadedness? And is it just anxiety? Well, I mean, I've had so many health issues lately. Is there anything you can tell me about something I can do to feel better? Or is it just something I'm going to get over? Do I need to purge the Vicodin out of my system? What? There's several things going on. You've got a lot of tension up in the chest area from your hands being up by playing video games. For too long periods of time in the wrong position um you still do have the inner ear and back of the sinuses we do have some congestion there going on again that's reoccurring with you often okay. um you also do have several different kinds of drugs running through your system yeah. which don't like each other um okay so quit the drugs man <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, I, you know, you put a lot of things in your system lately that you're not used to. Yeah. But uh, there really isn't and that the whole sinus thing starting up again and the, the inner ear as well. Okay. Well, I'll do the nasal irrigation and as much as I can do with the sinus thing. Um hi Jen, this is Dave Barrett. Jen knows hair. Hi. Regina agrees with him. Dave so, is my friend. Uh Diana Spice says, hey, I was watching David Wilcock on the solar activity. David doesn't know what he's talking about, so don't. David is a very smart okay. individual. I know 10 times more than David does about solar activity and alignments, and he always gets it wrong, so don't listen to him. Okay, because he's doesn't. I like him. That, on that, I mean, you can like him all you want, but it doesn't mean it make him right. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, anyway. Uh, God help, God loves. I ran out of gas with my daughter hours ago. Family and I just lost my mom. Now this, I called police hours ago and I walked to the gas station. Well, I wish we could help you. I wish we okay. could help you. Really, uh, I don't know sorry. what the question is. There's no, there isn't a question. Okay. And you send help. Where is for you? Let's everybody pray a little help for you. 
That sucks. Uh, Mary Ferrani says, forensic hairstyle analysis at his best right there. <laughs> Keeping it real, people. I'm telling you. Uh, Laura Mills is still holding on to, onto her dong, ready for it to explode. Thanks for the dong jokes, Laura. Um, Lori Yoder, there are multiple rhinos leaving the house early. We now have a slim margin, I believe, only one more than the Democrats. What does this mean, Jen? It means they are trying to undermine Donald Trump's election. They're going to try to impeach him before he even gets into the White House if he wins the election. But what do you think's going on? Yeah. It's still all kind of like script, but that's how it appears is that they're going to try and. It may all back up as we lead up to this, to, you know, election, the need for, um, you know, the exposure of the corruptness and, and then with Biden coming out and then um, or being pulled out. And then anybody that was connected to him and then all this happening, how they're attacking the opponent. He can't do anything, my God. And um may all lead up to the military is the only way. We've known that for a long time. Stay, okay. Stay uh, Layla, Kayla, Kayla Earp. Question for Jen. I had a very bizarre experience at a local Wells Fargo bank today. Stopped to open a savings account. Can I buy a one question reading to ask why they freaked out to my questions to them? Jen, you were doing those 15 minute readings a while back. Just ask it now. Yeah. Just ask it now. Okay, Kayla. Hurry up and get it. If you're still on the stream, hurry up and get your question in. We'll um, okay. Nanette O'Meara. Hi, Jen. Does Jesus see me still living in Washington or should we move to Coronado Island? I can't tell you what you should do. That's a decision. Um, But the best time to move to Coronado Island, if that is what you want to do, would be about a year and a half to two years from now. Okay. Um, hola, Jen and Mike from Marbell. Uh, playing for praying for all of you to have a wonderful week, health, harmony, Thank and you. prosperity. And she has a question. Jen, would you ask God or Archangel Michael about how my father is doing in heaven? He passed away last Saturday. I'm sorry. March 23rd. Wow. Very much for all. We need a name for that. Um, Maria BJ, it says. It was his, was he nicknamed BJ, maybe? Maybe we can ask. Maybe that was his nickname. Okay, Maria. Better dad. He's fine. He's still, like, in transition. I mean, they immediately, somebody comes to get them, they go home. And he was met by others to go home. They take him there, but the, he's still acclimating to the, his energy still rising to the other side. So um, I've been making short trip back, short trips back to check on certain people as he thinks of them. So that's how it goes. So that's why you're accompanied by others a lot of times when you first pass away, because it's very hard to stay in one place. Because if you think about them, you're visiting. Boom. Travel spirit moves the speed of thought and with thought. And that is why the, when they think of you, they are next to you. And that is why when you think of them, they feel it and they come. So he's been back and forth. He's fine. Uh, the actual transition to cross has been made. Yeah. Definitely can hear you very clearly. Uh, Barbara would like to know, do you see where I work closing in April? Very close to that, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, SusieQ22 says, question for Jen, will my son Trent get hit the assistant manager promotion at his job soon? Susie Q. I forget. I think not even her picture. I think Susie's name is not Susie. I think it's not okay. Uh, Trent. Let's turn into Trent. Not for a few months. Okay. Um, hi, Jen. This is Denise. Came in late. Missed the intel. Why is Sudani, that's the Iraqi prime minister, visiting, coming to the White House? And will it be the before the 15th? of April. So interesting question. Why is the Iraqi prime minister coming to the White House? Celebrate? Hopefully. Do we have an actual date for him coming in? No, they don't know. She's asking if it's before the 15th. Then how do we know he's coming? Um, The important work that he's doing here has nothing to do with the White House. The White House is a publicity kind of stunt or to show uh, goodwill towards the country itself. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know what the hell's going on there. But um, he's really got meetings with the, the Treasury. There must be more to that story because I'm not getting it all. Okay. Um, Linda Smith, her landline is out again. Where is the problem, Adam? Will they ever get it permanently fixed? Uh, immediately when my landline is out again, I saw water running under the ground. Okay. So have him check for that. Underground uh, Travis, rivers. Travis would like to know, will he find a good paying job soon? Travis. I feel like you get funds to sustain you. I feel like you're okay. Um, don't stop looking because of what I say. But I feel like until you get a really good paying job, it's probably going to be like May or June. Okay. Uh, Ken says, hello, Jen. Going to get new knees on Mar March 2nd. Okay. May, that May or June estimation was um, not so much uh, blocks of time that I saw, but how i felt i don't know where you're living but i was pretty warm and for me where it, we have to wait till you know that time for things to get warmer yeah so it could be sooner than that um gonna get new me meetings on march 2nd will this go well for me ken At least I think it does go well. You come out of the thing. You're okay. You live. Um, there, there was concern about it took a little longer with one of them, one of the knees, something about a plate, putting something in there. Um, you'll be okay. It's going to be kind of a long recovery. Make sure you have people to help you. Yeah. It's May 2nd. Thanks, Ken. Uh, yeah. Somebody pointed out, I forgot my, my kitty question. She, Miss Fluffy Muffy continues to, um, to do this mewling thing, like from like yelling from her room. And, and, you know, you thought it might be hairballs, but I've tried to treat her for that. I haven't noticed any issue. She's just crying a lot, like a lot. It, what's okay. going on with her? I take her in if she continues doing this. Um, I'm really getting stomach upsetting. I'm getting stomach, like I'm going to throw up, but I don't, you know, like, so that's why it made me get, think there's a hairball in there. I've seen my yeah. cat do that. And he makes all kinds of weird noises. Um, but you know, like when I, then when I go into her and I just pet her and interact with her, she seems completely fine. So, okay. Well, I've got her, I've got her, there's time for her to get another shot next week. I will get her in for a regular appointment, but I don't know what they can do. About I think it's pain. I feel like it's in the stomach area. Okay. Like cramping. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> can anyone tell me how far I will need to travel to redeem? No, nobody knows. It depends on where you live. But there's supposed to be a, 
a redemption center within 50 miles of pretty much everybody. Oh, Susie says her name is Susie. Okay, cool. Sudani scheduled to visit on April 15th, tax day. Okay. Um, okay, last question, Laura Mills. Jen, my son Jonathan has been out of work for two months. Do you see him finding employment by August? Laura. By August? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Real soon. Within a month. Six weeks. Yes. Okay. So Susan, a Little Red Castle subscriber over there on Rumble, has one last question. Do you see the Brunson case, the new one, being heard by the Supreme Court and the Congress removed? Will that actually happen? Is the Supreme Court even in session? I mean, this is how I feel every time some, and I can't explain it. Every time somebody asks me about the Supreme Court and something going on there, I feel like there's nobody there. Like empty room kind of feeling. So I don't think we're getting anywhere with that. No. Um, just hairball temptations, which are supposed to help her get rid of her hairballs, but I don't see that happening. Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> What? You've been giving them all those supplements, right? Now, those well, supplements are not going to agree with everyone and every pet. No, I okay, haven't. So been, you I... may be giving the cat, check the litter box. You may be giving her um, abdominal discomfort. I haven't been giving her anything. Yeah, check what's coming out. Okay. Um, Genji, one last question. Why is our dog Chopper being such a Richard to our dog Prim? He's being such a jerk to Prim. I know what you mean. I see what you did there. Um, such a Richard. Prim smells funny. Check for a UTI. Okay. Hey, that's why. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you very much, Jen. Thanks for the Jen tell as always. Interesting stuff. We'll see what the political developments are this week. Jen and I will be back on Wednesday for Tell the Truth Wednesday. I will be back tomorrow for Toxically Masculine Tuesday with Brooks and Blake, and I will be trying to do something to get all this head spinning stuff cleared up, but I'm definitely done with the Vicodin. So thank you guys for being here. Uh, appreciate it very much. Jen, any final thoughts? You can find Jen over on um, jenniferfalaw.com and on YouTube, um, Jennifer Falaw Doring and Philosophy on Telegram. Anything uh, you want to leave? Yes, and I will be live tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific. Um, and for thoughts over coffee, let's see if I get anything uh, more gentle. Probably not, but we'll see. Um, very interesting thoughts over coffee tomorrow. Okay. About uh, why we need to eat and why we need to sleep. And the energy that we pull in and out of us. And how we can understand how emotion and programming and everything else um, blocks that. And how we can lift that to pull more in for better healing, better life, and a closer connection to God. So tune in to Philosophy tomorrow 9 a.m. on Jennifer Fulaw Doring on YouTube. There you go. See you then. And then bye for some toxic masculinity. We're going to talk a lot about what's going on in Russia tomorrow night with Brooks and Blake. Thanks for being here, Jen, as always, wonderful hostess and amazing hair analysis. Thank you. Absolutely amazing.